एस साउथ एशियन मीडिया ग्रुप वाई मीडिया Both Sweden and Canada have said they will resume a payments to UNRWA, the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. The countries were among the 16 which paused the funding after Israel alleged that some of its staff took part in the deadly October 7th attack by Hamas which killed more than 1100 people. Sweden said on Saturday it would send a 200 million kroner which is around the 15 million pounds initially after UNRWA agreed to strengthen internal controls and to do extra checks on its employees. The Canadian government said on Friday that it would continue funding the organization while investigations continue. An independent review of the UNRWA has been launched under French former foreign minister Catherine Colonna and the final reports is expected to be published next month. UNRWA provides aid and essential services to Palestinian refugees in Gaza, the Israeli-occupied West Bank and across the region. However, it has been in a crisis since Israel accused 12 of its 13,000 staff in Gaza of involvement in the October 7th attack on Israel that triggered the war in the Palestinian enclave. The allegations have prompted several countries including the United States to stop and pause the funding. When the allegations emerged, UNRWA fired some of uh, its staff members, saying it acted to protect the agency's ability to deliver humanitarian assistance, and an independent internal UN investigation was launched. UNRWA said that some employees released into Gaza from Israeli detention reported having been pressured by Israeli authorities into falsely stating that staff took part in the attack, according to a report by the agency dated February. The UN had said uh, some uh, 3000 members of staff are still working to deliver aid in the enclave where it says uh, 576000 people that is one quarter of the population are one step away from famine. On Friday the EU, UK and US uh, said they plan to open a sea route to Gaza to deliver aid. Biggest South Asian Media Group, Why Media. Why?